call is now being recorded. Hello. Hello? Hey, is, is this Mike? Yes, sir. Hi, I guess I'm going to start right now. Okay. How do you connect with your fans? I mean, the best way to connect with the fans now, Twitter has made it easy to be able to keep in contact with your fans and them be able to get their words out and you be able to answer questions of theirs. So, you know, through Twitter and through, you know, certain, certain things like that. Mm -hmm. I've seen you played on a bunch of different teams so far in your career. What team did you have the most fun on? You know, throughout it all, it's been a ride. And I believe the team that I had the most fun on probably was the year that we won the NBA championship in 2004 with the Detroit Pistons. I think that team, we was like a brotherhood when we played and when we were out there on the court and off the court. So it just made it that much easier to just work when we was all playing on the court. Mm -hmm. Um. What do you do off the court? Do you have a certain do you do you play other things? Do you ever throw the football around? Anything like that? Well, this summer actually in Houston, we, I'm, I'm doing an event for my foundation. We're gonna team up Tracy McGrady, uh, a doctor in uh, East Texas, a uh, doctor in McLean, uh, and so we're gonna bring our foundations together and we're gonna team up and try to just have like a flag football game, a softball game, a golf event. So I like, I enjoy playing golf. I enjoy, you know, just doing, just relaxing with my family, enjoying the time that I have off. Yeah. As a kid, how, how many jump shots a day do you think you took? Man, hundreds, thousands. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, I just knew that this was, something that I had to do in order to get better so I just learned how to work hard and try to perfect my craft as much as possible mm -hmm. you signed with the Bulls a couple times this year to attend a contract what are you going to do next time so maybe they'll sign you for a longer contract hopefully we'll see you know, I'm going to stay ready I'm going to continue to keep working and Whatever the outcome is, is, that's going to be the outcome. I'm just grateful for the opportunity. This call is now being recorded. Hello. Hello? Hey, is, is this Mike? Yes, sir. Hi, I guess I'm going to start right now. Okay. How do you connect with your fans? I mean, the best way to connect with fans now, Twitter has made it easy to be able to keep in contact with your fans and them be able to get their words out and you be able to answer questions of theirs. So, you know, through Twitter and through, you know, certain, certain things like that. Mm -hmm. I've seen you played on a bunch of different teams so far in your career. What team did you have the most fun on? You know, throughout it all, it's been a ride. And I believe the team that I had the most fun on probably was the year that we won the NBA championship in 2004 with the Detroit Pistons. I think that team, we was like a brotherhood when we played and when we were out there on the court and off the court. So it just made it that much easier to just work when we was all playing on the court. Mm -hmm. Um. What do you do off the court? Do you have a certain, do you, do you play other things? Do you ever throw the football around, anything like that? Well, this summer, actually, in Houston, we, I'm, I'm doing an event for my foundation. We're going to team up Tracy McGrady, uh, a doctor in uh, East Texas, a uh, doctor in McLean. Uh, and so we're going to bring our foundations together, and we're going to team up and try to just have like a flag football game, a softball game, a golf event. So I like I enjoy playing golf. I enjoy you know just doing just relaxing with my family, enjoying the time that I have off. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. As a kid, how how many jump shots a day do you think you took? Man, hundreds, thousands. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just I just knew that this was something that I had to do in order to get better. So I just learned how to work hard and try to perfect my craft as much as possible. Mm-hmm. You signed with the Bulls a couple times this year to a 10-day contract. What are you going to do next time so maybe they'll sign you for a longer contract? Hopefully, we'll see. You know, I'm going to stay ready. I'm going to continue to keep working. Whatever the outcome is, is that's going to be the outcome. I'm just grateful for the opportunities. And I'm just going to continue to just stay on the ground until it's time to stop. Mm-hmm. Uh, your best season scoring and playing time wise was with Toronto in oh five and oh six. Do you have any idea why they did not sign you for the next coming season? I mean, sometimes people are looking for more than I may not be a, as valuable of a piece to their future plans than just because of what I've done a previous year and so that's what happens a lot of times. I wasn't in their plans for their future, so it was time for me to move on, even though I would have enjoyed to stay in Toronto. But at the same time, you can always tell when you're wanting and when you're not wanting. Mm-hmm. What was your college experience like? I mean, it was fun. It was the hard work. I graduated, majored in uh, psycho- children's psychology, mining and communications. And I grew up from a child to a boy at that time and really learned a lot. And it, my experiences continued to allow me to grow. What was your high school experience like? Hmm. Fun, cool. You know, I was hmm. never, I was never, I could have, I could have acclimated myself better in the classroom. I could have done more. But I never saw the class. I always done my homework and always done my work. Made sure, even though I didn't push myself to limits, I always it was better. I was always just good enough in the classroom. And so I wish I could have done that differently. But other than that, high school was all my childhood years was fun. Even though it was tough to go through, even though they, even though there was times that they was rough, but at the same time. Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite pre-game meal, maybe a type of food that you eat before almost every game and a food that you enjoy? My wife, she cooks me grilled chicken breast, pasta, and I like mixed vegetables. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, about a favorite, what about a favorite pre-game song? Do you have a song that you listen to before every game? You know? Excuse me? Oh, uh, do you have a favorite pregame song? No, I listen to gospel music a lot. I like gospel music. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got your own, your own book, correct? Yes. Uh, why did you choose to write your own book? It's called Life in a Dream, but it felt like my story is good enough to talk about. Mm-hmm. Where can your fans purchase this book? You can go on Amazon.com and get it. I I, I think I might have to do that. Okay. Oh, uh, do you know by I know I know you've been in the league for a while. Do you know by any chance when you might retire? Any maybe a couple two years next year? Do you have any idea? I mean, before I'm 40, I plan on getting the game of basketball up. But I'm not 40 yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, growing up as a kid, did you have a favorite NBA team? Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes, I, I Chicago was a big team that I liked as a mixed fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, growing up as a kid, did you have a favorite NBA player? Did you 
ever look up to that one player? Michael Jordan, Jasmine, Tim Hardaway, you know, um, Kevin Johnson. All right, well, uh, that's about all the questions I have right now. Thank you for your time. Uh, you're welcome. Take care. Yeah, you too. All right, thank you.